everybody. Rick here with Apple Valley Farm. I'm here first day of summer Summer! break and Jude's here with me. So we're doing our thing. Uh, Today we are making some frames, some some rough frames. They're rustic frames, but I'm making it out of this old barn wood and this is just some hundred year old heart pine barn wood. Man, it smells so good. It smells sweet. Doesn't it smell sweet, Jude? Mm-hmm. It does. All right. Anyway, today we've got to cut a rabbit groove. Not a rabbit like an Easter rabbit, an R-E-B-B-E-T rabbit groove. And I need to cut that on the inside corner right here so uh, these panels that we've got will fit down in there. You'll see in a minute. This is one that we've done. We haven't cleaned up. But it still looks good. Still looks good, but you can see this is a rabbit groove. You see there? And, or some people call it a picture groove. And then the, the frame or the thing that we're going to put in there fits right down in that groove. Anyway, this is a rabbit groove. This is how we're going to put everything together. So bear with me and I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. We're going to do it with our router. Picked up a new Ryobi router today. This is just a their basic corded router. It's nothing fancy. It's not cordless. It's not like 25 horsepower or nothing like that. It's just a standard router. We're using a straight 5 16 bit and that's how we're doing it. So I'll show you how we've got the jig set up here on the shop table and we're cutting our rabbit grooves and they're just beep, 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 beep. They're just going like clockwork. Here we go. Okay, so let's see if you guys can see what I'm doing here. So this board I've attached to my work table and it, it's just it's just a straight edge work surface for me to put the board that I'm going to be rabbiting up against it. Then I've got this that I've clamped on top of that and that's what the router is going to run along. All right. Now I've clamped or I've screwed this little stop block in place right there. Because the router is going to be turning a certain direction. And it's going to want to push the wood this way. So that's going to stop it right there. Now the only thing that I don't really like about this whole setup is this piece is just free in there. And I don't really have a way to secure it in there. I mean, I'm just we're just making this up as we go. This is just backyard woodworking right here. We don't have a Norm Abrams New Yankee Workshop shop we don't have a hundred thousand dollars worth of tools we got just stuff this is just homeowner stuff but but we can do this it can work so anyway we've got this jig set up and bam there we go now i'm going to cut the groove here with the router and you'll see how we do it works it works like clockwork here we go Easy. I love it. Love it when a plan comes together, especially when we got good new tools. These Ryobi tools, man, they're hard to beat. They are hard to beat. Anyway, got our rabbit done. Whoop a bow. It's looking good, looking real good. Uh. So we got about, oh, about a dozen more of these or so to do, and we'll finish these up, put them together, and then I'll uh, I'll post something else and show you guys how it's all coming together. Hey, thanks a lot. Have a good day. If you need anything, give me a shout. Ricky at AppleValleyFarmGA.com. Visit us at AppleValleyFarmGA.com. And please like, comment, and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. We'd love to have you. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. And, oh, here comes the sun. Ah, Go make something.